Hey, thanks for stopping by the Concealed Carry Guy. Today, we're gonna take on the bottle cap challenge with this. What? That was our not so subtle way to introduce you to this guy. This is Jeff the Bearded Gunsmith Higgins. How you doing? Good. Jeff brought a personal project to his, which is a, well, you tell us what it is. Well, it is actually an old Mosin Nagant 9130. Um, for anybody that's familiar with them, they were chambered in 762 by 54 R, and I'd owned the gun for quite a few years, and frankly, it was quite boring. I mean, it was kind of a fun gun to shoot, but it got old. I always wanted to do something with it, and uh, I kind of went out on a limb and rechambered it for 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. So this is kind of, this is 50 caliber. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Wow. Well, you saw the bottle he shot. That thing took it apart. Um, it would have been embarrassing if it bounced off. <laughs> <laughs> so how long did it take to put this gun together? Uh, I'm a busy man, so it's kind of been an off and on project. I've still got a little bit of... Uh, I wouldn't say tweaking, it fires fine, very accurate gun, um, but just a few little finishing touches I, I've got to do and put on it, but uh, I'd say over a couple weeks, um, huh? it got it to where it's at now. Okay, and you are a, a licensed gunsmith by trade, correct? Yes. So, I mean, this guy's not messing around when he builds something like this. This isn't a garage project. This is a guy that knows what he's doing. Uh, Richard's back there behind the camera. Richard, can you toss me one of the rounds? This thing, this thing is, it's, <laughs> it's impressive. Look at that. Yeah, that's a big old bullet. Right big there. old bullet. And I know uh, people, th this is a pistol cartridge, correct? Yeah, and it's apparently a very uncomfortable pistol cartridge from what I hear to shoot. But uh, but yeah, this is probably the only Mosin de Gaunt that shoots uh, 500? That, that I'm aware of. Yeah? Yep. Well, uh, we're going to, uh, is there anything else you want to tell us about it? Anything, special um, challenges or anything into doing this? Uh, yeah, they, they've all, <laughs> these things are known to not be modified because they're not very user friendly. Um, it doesn't have a bridged receiver, uh, and I'll show all this later, but it makes it difficult to scope the, scope the rifle. Uh, the steel is extremely hard. I don't know what Russia was using. <laughs> But they had some really good metallurgy back in the day, and it was uh, really interesting to try to drill and tap that receiver for a scope mount, and then work on the bolt because I had to do a lot of bolt modification. And uh, it, but it, it worked out. It, it's a good-looking rifle, and it shoots really good. You have a lot of people come in the shop just to see it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It it's it's one of the first things that jumped out at me in the shop. All right, we're going to start out with these. Uh, I can't remember if it's 300 or 350, somewhere around that grain bullets they're uh, hollow points I can't even remember the brand the only reason we grabbed them is because they were available at the shop so we're gonna send one downrange at that steel target and see what happens <laughs> 